Uh, now let's start with the Q learning implementation. Uh, I'll start with the deterministic version of this uh, program. Let's go ahead and uh, run a map. Uh, I'll not create a new map. I'll use a predefined map and also a smaller one because of my comp desktop resolution. Uh, I'll use this one. Later I'll show you with the bigger map as well. So I'll reduce the speed a little bit and these are all the Q learning parameters that you can set. You can change the discount that you get uh, from the next date. Uh, the re the discounted version of the reward that you get from the next date okay uh, you can change the start at any time uh, you can change the exploration epsilon uh, this will lead to if you increase the epsilon it will always do random movements random actions if you have it zero it will always take the optimum it will become greedy so we also have the softmax implementation of this which uh, you can go ahead and just um, comment this uh, comment uh, this one out and take this back in for now I'll use uh, the manual settings I'll go ahead and play this so you can see it is updating all the cells now I'll increase the speed and see which path it follows so you can see the here's a bit so and here's the the bit uh, carries the minus one reward and the goal carries uh, plus one reward so st uh, since this is a deterministic one the, it's taking the default actions both path have the same reward but still the default action from each cell is first down then right so it's taking the right one and it's reaching the goal if you change the start at any time if you set it to let's say one comma four so it starts from a different cell okay let's change it here one comma two is a wall so it won't take it see a comma yes if you start from here you see the reward in this direct by taking this path is better so it's not taking that path again this was about the deterministic version of the implementation you can also see all the Q values here. You can see uh, what's the current state, what's the reward that you're getting, what are the other action that you can take, which action was last taken, it was an optimum or a random, and all of the calculation. This is the um, Q learning iteration. And you can see the epsilon values and the iteration number, the alpha, uh, which controls the conversions. I'll just go ahead and run the stochastic version of this implementation now. Let's see, okay. I'll choose the same map, okay, so that we can distinguish between them. Okay, so here we start. Let's go ahead and play this. Yes, so if you can see, once it has learned, yeah. Yeah, it has learned now so if you can if you decrease the speed you can see the path it is following now so you can see it's not following the the previous path which it took in the deterministic version of this world uh, because in this one there is a transition function involved which gives the point one which takes a point point one part of the neighboring states also so when it is here it takes point one part of the pit which uh, gives a lesser value in this direction so it took uh, another path which has more reward obviously because it doesn't have a pit uh, chances of going into a pit is less so um, in here also you can change the path change the start I'm sorry so if you go and change it to some point here it will change its uh, yeah you can see if it start from here it is getting a lesser reward here now if you uh, want to explore more you can just uh, increase the epsilon value and I'll just get back to the previous start so now it's trying to explore more if I decrease to zero it again follows the same path if I uh, increase the epsilon I'll just get rid of this so if I increase epsilon it starts taking random action and if I increase epsilon it will never go from this path because its optimum path 
but still I have 0.1 probability here for going into the correct path so it may take it so if I move it again it should take optimum path again so it has started taking the optimum path as you can see uh, you can always decrease the discount just set it and discount it okay so again for this implementation also you can go ahead and see all the uh, Q values for each for each uh, action and each state uh, all the calculation what is the current state and what action last was taken and uh, what are the other actions okay that's about it uh, I'll just go ahead and run a bigger version of the map so okay for the stochastic no yes okay so here's a as you can see it's already cutting here so that's why I'm not running bigger maps um, let's go ahead and play this and as you can see if you ex increase the exploration uh, it will explore more if you decrease the epsilon it will st uh, start following the optimum uh, Q values so So it has almost found the path. Yes. So st again, this is a stochastic version, and uh, as you can see, it's avoiding the pet. Um, the cost of going from here, it, this has lesser cells, four plus five, nine cells, and this has more cells. This is like five, five, and one more. So it's following this path because it's getting more reward because um, the pet has. Um, given a, a negative reward to all these cells because of the pet uh, and the transition model of course so that was about the q learning thank you